let's take it back to the beginning. Kind of, do you remember the day that you got told you were going to be Tracy Beaker? And were you aware of the character before you auditioned? Yeah, so I was a huge fan of Dame Jacqueline Wilson, but the only book I had not read was Tracy Beaker. So I actually had, and I still to this day have not finished reading the story of Tracy Beaker. Before my audition, I knew my friend had a copy, so I grabbed it and I was trying to like read it as much as I could. I think I only read like the first 10 pages. Um, but I think that kind of worked in my favor because I went into the audition room um, with my own kind of version of Tracy uh, and it, it worked because here I am you know a couple of years later still yeah. talking about it <laughs> did an okay job so uh, and yeah I can't actually remember um I was actually this is really embarrassing at a festival doing some Morris dancing uh, and uh, my mum's okay. phone went I know don't yeah. ask that's, that's <laughs> I was gonna say fair enough that's another day trust me uh, and yeah my mum's phone went and it was Susan Tully who was uh, the director of the first ever series of the story of Trace Speaker telling me that I had got the role mm. uh, and I remember being oh, beside myself I was so excited uh, even though back then we had no idea what we were kind of letting ourselves in for I was still super excited because I'd already fallen in love with the character uh, and yeah just couldn't wait to get started so and that was 20 years ago next summer yes that oh god that makes that makes me feel old like as well <laughs> imagine, imagine how yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say um the thing I didn't realise about it until literally this morning when I was interviewing um, Kieran Joyce, who played LOL. I know it's been a, it's been a Tracy oh, Beaker's day. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was filmed in Cardiff. But I never knew that. So, yeah, so I know the first series was shot in London, uh, in Ealing, and yeah, then we moved from the second series, moved it up to Cardiff, and that sort of became my home for about five years. Mm -hmm. I love. Cardiff. So uh, send it my love, please. It's been a while. As you said, Tracy Beaker is, um, it, you know, it's this 20 year phenomenon. You know, the franchise has grown and grown and grown and grown. Um, but I'll always remember that, you know, initial group of kids and mm -hmm. kind of, you know, people like Louise and Justine and Lol. Yeah. And Lisa. Do you ever um, keep in contact with any of the cast and crew now? Yeah, I mean, it's really difficult because obviously we're completely spread out throughout the country. And obviously we were so young when we first started working with each other. Um, and I know quite a lot of um, the kids didn't carry on with acting. So I think there's only a few of us still doing it. Um, I still keep in contact with Kieran, who you spoke to earlier, which was very nice. Uh, and I speak to Chelsea, who plays Louise, and Cara, who plays Layla, uh, Ben, who plays Bouncer. So yeah, I, I keep in contact with everyone pretty much like via social media I'm constantly stalking to see what everyone's doing um but yeah it's really nice to see how different everyone's lives have sort of taken them it's crazy yeah and you know um as we said that um Tracy Beaker has become a phenomenon and I'd imagine for you there are so many happy memories you've got of being on the set you know when you were younger because this essentially was your childhood um so yeah. are there any particular moments that you, you will always remember and will always be very special to you Oh gosh, uh, I mean, it was so long ago, but I just remember, I think the, the best thing that I took away from that job was just the experience itself, um, because I learned so much, especially on that first series. I'd never really stepped foot on a, you know, a proper set before. I'd done like the bits and bobs, but um, yeah, this was like my first like proper big job. So I must've been so annoying because I literally followed every crew member around, like asking if he did as a job, and I learned about every single, crew members part basically and so yeah I, I was just really really nosy so I think the best thing I took away from it is um yeah just having the best summer ever because uh, you know it was it was really hard work we worked really long hours and still had to do tutoring as well on top of that so it was knackering but also we were just being kids and having a laugh yeah and I think that was kind of my favorite thing about it and it is weird because people do ask me about storylines all the time and I can't remember hardly any of them we did like nearly 200 episodes um but I still remember every single person I worked with um and we were really lucky everyone was lovely yeah. so that was it was fun and uh, just finally uh, Danny um if you had a message to give all the Tracy Beaker fans out there who have continuously watched the show continuously loved the show um what would you say to them um, just thank you. Thank you so much because if it wasn't for the people watching I wouldn't be sat here now talking about it and also bringing back this character and I'm just like you guys I cannot wait to see what happens next to Tracy so keep watching.
Mm -hmm. and, and, and on a more personal level, I had to ask, because you know, you will be fulfilling a childhood dream of mine. Uh, literally, I never thought this day would come. Uh, but to just end the interview, I just wondered, yes. Danny, if you could tell me to bog off. <laughs> Okay, I do have to charge for this now, is that okay? All oh, right, okay, yeah, 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 sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, Tony, Dan, fog off. I know you best, obviously, from uh, Tracy BK, you played the character of Layla. Um, Danny actually said to me yesterday that it had been 20 years since the, the, the show began. And that made me feel so old because, you know, it, it was my childhood. So I'd imagine, is it similar for you? Absolutely. When I think 20 years ago, obviously for me, it was 18 years ago because I came in in series three. Yeah. But yeah, it does make me feel really old. And some of it just feels like yesterday. Um, I can't believe it was that long ago mm. and people still come up to me to this day saying are you from Tracy Beaker so mm. I must not look any different <laughs> in 18 years yeah. so I clearly haven't aged or haven't changed which I'm okay with yeah I mean you know that's a blessing and a curse being involved in the show I don't think any of us even still now realise what an impact it had on people and how much people really loved it. Like, even now, like, obviously, you know, I'm in my 30s, but I'll walk down the street, especially if I hang out in Southwest London, which is kind of a youngish area, like, you know, your Balam and your Tootings of the world. And a lot of the people that live around there are kind of 25-ish, uh, who would have been the exact demographic of the show. And they they like they go mental, mm. like they're like, oh my god! So I think to answer your question, thank you for supporting the show and for giving me a brilliant childhood. Because obviously, the more popular the show, the more we got to film, and I had an absolutely great time. Um, and it's something, as I say, that I had I was a bit embarrassed about oddly in my twenties, but now I've kind of got a bit older. I kind of go, actually, that was really cool to to be a part of. Um, so thank you, is what I would say. I wish I could be a bit more insightful, um, but yeah, thanks. Why do you think Tracy Beaker has stood the test of time and is still beloved to this day? I cannot tell you. I, I literally, it's, it blows my mind that, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't get recognised anymore. But if people kind of find out or, you know, tag me in something on social media, people go crazy for it 19, 20 years on. And it is crazy. And, you know, if you look back and it's kind of the original series, the first kind of few series that mm. are, seem to be like the most kind of popular. And they kind of look really dated now as well. And you just think, because <laughs> obviously it was so long ago, I, I you know, obviously the, the story behind it and the characters and it was kind of quite... Um, it was quite cheeky as well. I know a lot of friends kind of weren't allowed to watch it. <laughs> really? So, yeah, there was wow. so many that were like against it because it would be teaching them bad behaviour and just where like, <laughs> you know, just general dumping ground fun really. So I think it had that kind of element to it as a kid that people almost wanted to be in the dumping ground, which sounds really odd. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's crazy yeah. though. I think, to be honest with you, I, I just think that um, Probably the, the kind of the, the situation of the of, of the the fact that it was you know filmed in a in a care home as you will, mm. um, and it was it was you know it's a, it's, a, it's a group of kids doing you know a group of group of kids thing and there was something for everyone. There was a lot of there's a lot of emotional scenes. You know that kind of when they played the Tracy Beaker theme tune really slowly, you knew you were in for an emotional scene. Yeah. So that was like you know the saxophone comes out and everyone's like oh Tracy's mum's gone. Oh here yeah. we go. Um, no, but I think I think I think there was just a really a really nice mix of everything. And at the time, mm -hmm. I think that the children that were in the care home really resonated with children who were living real lives. Like it was it was like a real life situation. Mm -hmm. Albeit, I'm not trying to say that the dumping ground is like a real life care home because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm definitely not the case. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is is that the the the, the issues that were raised in Tracy Beaker at the time and probably still ongoing are exactly what kids are going through these days. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know and and yeah there was just i just think there's there was such an, an eclectic mix of characters um and and a lot and a lot of fun like we had I, I've seen that you reached, I reached out to Kieran and, and Chelsea and, and Danny and, and all the other guys from, from Big, especially it was great seeing Jack, you know, yeah. how much did he change, by the way? Oh, <laughs> that's madness. Like, I fully expected him to be dressed in some random costume when, it, when he answered the Zoom call, because that's yeah. my memory of Marco, but he was just a pretty normal bloke. I'm sure if you caught with the right time, yeah. it would still be <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There were so many characters in there, and there was always one character which a kid could identify with. It was really diverse, and there, was, there really was a character that was for everyone, so I think that every little kid could see a little bit of themselves in one of these characters, and I think that's probably why it did so well. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said, it's been 17 years. Uh, since you were involved in the program. Uh, do you still keep in contact with any of the other cast members? Are you in regular contact with anyone from the show? Uh, not so much that we like go out and see each other and stuff because we all live in different parts of the country. Yeah. But we all stay in touch um, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, it's been quite nice over the years. For a, a few years, I used to go on holiday with um, Abby, who played uh, Jackie. Mm -hmm. um, our families became good friends. but. Uh, Everyone does stay in touch, but it, it's difficult to try and get everyone together, especially at the moment. Well, I spoke, I speak to Dan sporadically. You know, she's she's got a child and she's you know she's got her life in Bracknell, so you know we'll shoot the odd message back and forth. Chelsea, I follow on Instagram, and every now and then, you know, you'll get like a hi, how are you? I've not spoken to Moni for a long time. Mm. Um, I spoke to Moni a couple of years ago. It's it's tricky because you know you you get older and. You lie. It's like it's like your schoolmates. You know, yeah. you you be really close to people in school, and you know, and then all of a sudden your lives kind of take you in different directions, and mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it it can be tricky. Um, but no, I mean, you know, it's not as if we're on bad terms. You know, it's, no. you, know you just you, tr you try you try send each other little messages every now and then. Not a day goes by where I won't see a gif uh, or a meme of um, yeah. I think it's the last episode of the first series where they have the party. And Peter's yes. just dancing a lot. I, uh, do, do you still keep in contact with any of the cast members who were on the original series or throughout your three-year run? Yeah, so I still speak to Danny. I still, she, she actually does quite a lot of my fitness classes, which is amazing. Who's that? I don't know. I've never heard of Danny Harm. <laughs> what, <laughs> yeah. Whatever, whatever happened to her? <laughs> I, I, yeah. yeah. Um, no, she's she's amazing. I went to her thirtieth. Um, I think that was last year last Feb I think that was went to a 30th which was lovely um and the guy Ben I think you're speaking to him soon who plays Banter, yeah. um he is one of my best friends on this planet so really really strange he's he's from Wales um, yes. obviously I knew him during the series but you know I think I was 11 and he was 16 17 so it was kind of like a brother sister um thing and mm. and basically long story short he's got some family members that live up the road from me and he's he ended up moving in with them a few years ago and I saw a picture on Facebook and recognized the street and I messaged him like Ben what on earth are you doing there and he was like I live here now and we were like that's crazy and we've been best buds ever since it's crazy Amazing. yeah that's mad that's mad how you still keep in contact with people who you, you know, you essentially grew up with that. That is yeah, just incredible. Yeah. So I was I was always a lot older. So I was um, when I started, I was sixteen, and the rest wow. of them, were, yeah, and the rest of them were were, were like, um, I think Chelsea was eleven, Kieran was probably about thirteen. Um, so and, and my my brother in real life is 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 the same age as Kieran. Mm. So it was it made it quite easy for me and Kieran to stay in contact because I was. I knew what my brother was going through, so Kieran was going through the same thing. Yeah. Um, and and then other than that, it kind of fell away. I I, I stayed very close friends with with James uh, Cartwright, who played Nathan for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, he he helped me for a really tough time in my life. Um, as did as did Chelsea. Um, I, I saw you interview with Chelsea. You, you're fully aware that Chelsea is literally my bestie now. We're like, yeah. she lives around the corner from me. We we train together. We. You know, we, we we do we do we spend time together. So me and her have really stayed in contact. Um, and then the others, I just reach out to every now and again. Um, Cara, who played Layla, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We talk every now and again on Instagram. Um, and the same with Jack. You know, mm. it's it's the it's a twenty year anniversary next year when the first season of Tracy wow. Beaker. Wow. Yeah. So me. that makes me feel I, quite old. 
I know. What yeah. makes you think? Yeah. You think I thinking? know. I said that. To, I, I said that to Danny Harmer. And I said, yeah. oh, yeah, it makes me feel, oh, tell you what, it makes me feel old. And she was like, I literally have a child. I was like, oh, oh wow. Do you, know, do you know what it is? It's when people, like, I don't I don't really get recognised anymore at all. Like, I, I probably don't look the same. You I was don't. A bit of there. I it's was going to say, me. when I saw your profile picture on Instagram, I was like, no, no, sit, what? And <laughs> and it was like, that, that it was madness. I, like, I, I didn't put two and two together. Damn, bog off! My mum, Tracy Beaker. Um, Tracy Beaker has had a child, and you yes. are that child. Um, how yes. does that feel? Absolutely amazing. I mean, um, I used to watch Tracy Beaker when I was little because, like, it replayed. So, um, like, with my brother, so it's just absolutely incredible. Was there an audition process when you were actually um, becoming Jess, the character of Tracy Beaker's daughter? Yes, they were. So it was like a three-round audition. So um, when I like first got the self-tape through, um, I was told that I had to have a London accent and obviously I'm originally from West Yorkshire so I'm, I'm speaking it now because I'm thinking about it but um, my agents were saying you know okay before we put you forward for it you've got to learn your London accent first and I was like oh my gosh so um, I, I tried to learn a few words and then um, yeah so there were three rounds and it, it, it went really well it was amazing so I got to the third stage and that was a Zoom call with the producer and director. Mm -hmm. And um, a few days later, I found out I landed the role of Jess Beaker. What can we expect from my mum, Tracy Beaker? Lots of drama, um, lots of amazing returning characters, and um, just lots of really funny scenes as well, just lots of laughs. It's just, oh, it's brilliant. I can't wait for everyone to see it. I suppose for you, you know, because you've grown up watching this show, what was it like to be on set with somebody like Danny Harmer? Because I, I got the... Uh, honor of chatting to Danny um, over the summer. And um, one of the things I asked her to do was to tell me to bog off, essentially. And that was a childhood dream sort of, you know, like <laughs> it was sorted. And um, so for you, what was it like? What was it like working with Danny? Amazing. I mean, she's such a brilliant actor. I mean, I learned so much. Um, most of like the dramatic scenes as well, it was just such a cool experience for me, like even just acting with her as well, because it really inspired me to do my best as well. Yeah. I feel like I've learned so much from being on set. Everyone can almost understand parts of it, because it's like, it, it, it's for everyone. It's not just for kids, it's for adults, for teens, it's for all generations. And it's just, oh, it, it's amazing.